Morning everybody. I thought that I would actually just pick up the camera. Where the hell has my phone gone? Who's shutting the door on me? Oh. <gasps> Alfie! <laughs> Look at that cheeky little face. Did you shut the door on mummy? Mummy what? Huh? Mama car dark. Mama, car's dark. Yeah, it's dark outside. So, I just thought that I would actually do just a normal vlog today. I've been doing my trimester vlogs. I still have one more to edit. I don't know whether this video will be going up before that one or after this one. Sorry? Dumb up. Dumb up. Does anyone else's toddler just say like, the most random things and you have no idea? what they're actually saying and it's like what's wrong did you hurt yourself oh baby come here come here you're okay you're okay what happened are you getting a tired boy it's really really close to alfie's nap time now so i need to put him down for a nap in a minute he's still napping for at least two hours in the daytime has any less than that i have to put him to bed like super early what's wrong what are you looking for? Uh, uh, no. No moles? Oh, I found it. He still has dummies at the age of two years old. Just because Grandma. I'm trying to do things like one at a time at the moment. So I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but we have actually stopped breastfeeding now. So I stopped a couple of weeks ago and I've just made a TikTok actually about it, but it will already be up by the time that this goes up, I can imagine. Right, careful, careful. Go down the slide backwards then. That's it. <laughs> You're such a funny boy. Um, I'm going to go on the slide. This slide is actually from Amazon. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll link it in the description if I remember to do so. It is actually so good. My mum bought it for him for Christmas. No, for his birthday after I told her to um, get him one because I just thought it would be a really good thing. Like It folds away and goes up against the wall. I've got so much to talk to you about. Right, well you've got to be careful going down that slide, don't you? Hurt. Hurt. Come here then. What do you want mommy to do? I just feel like I have so much to talk to you guys about because I've just been kind of doing my... Oh, wait, hold on, I'm getting a call. Hello? Yes. Oh, lovely. Sorry I didn't get back to you. Um, I'd probably say the virtual or the phone would be better just because the hospital's like, yeah, about half an hour. Yeah, just, just a bit. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much for getting back to me. Cheers. Thank you and you. See you. Bye. As I was saying... I feel like I have so much to talk to you guys about. I will go a little bit more into depth about breastfeeding in a minute, I think. Just because I did actually just get a call from the birth re reflections team from the hospital. I have really wanted to do a birth debrief, a birth reflection for so, so long. And they called me about a month ago and I was just like so overwhelmed. And I feel so overwhelmed today. I know I don't feel like it, but that's why I'm vlogging because if I vlog, I will feel less overwhelmed being able to just talk through everything and I feel like I just have so much to like talk about so much to do so I've actually made a list or like a high priority list of things that I need to do and the first one on there was to contact the hospital back about my birth debrief I sent her an email this morning and I was like I'm really really sorry that I missed your call um, and your email I've just been really really busy so she obviously just gave me a call and basically has just set up a virtual meeting with me in May to just go through everything that happened with Alfie's birth what went wrong because obviously if you've been here before you will know that I did not have a very good time with Alfie's birth and being pregnant with my second child who is due in August I don't want to go back into that hospital with any unresolved trauma so she basically just gave me a call and said that that, that I have three options so I can go in and have a face-to-face -face meeting 
I can have a virtual meeting over Zoom or a telephone meeting. So I said to her that I'd actually prefer either a virtual or a telephone, mainly because the hospital that I go to is around 30 to 45 minutes depending on traffic away. And it just works for me so much better. She said that it's on a Friday, so Friday would be perfect for me because my mum's off work. So my mum can have Alfie in the morning, take him out and do whatever, and I can have my virtual or my telephone debrief at that point. So I'm actually really, really looking forward to that because at the moment, guys, I've been going to bed every single night literally fearing birth, which is so horrible. Every night I've been laid there like thinking about it and it gives me such anxiety because of just everything that happened last time and I just really don't want to go through that again. And I know that like every birth is completely different. You know, even if I did have to end up, say, with like a C-section, which I wouldn't ideally want, but say if I did end up with that... I'd be okay with that, it's just how it's handled. That's the main issue for me. Yeah, um, I had to answer that phone call, but anyway, that is one good thing it ticked off my list. So I have three more things to do on this list, which I probably won't be able to do any of today, but we will see. But yeah, anyway, what I was saying about breastfeeding anyway, so we have stopped breastfeeding for the last couple of weeks now. Yeah. Are you being cheeky? Are you feeling a cheeky boy? Yes. Yes, you are so big now, aren't you? I feel like you guys haven't really seen him properly for so long. But I am going to start, like, fizzling him out a little bit more. That's a, that's another subject that I need to get into. I just, I have so much to talk to you about this vlog, maybe very, very long. So, we stopped breastfeeding a couple of weeks ago. Not because he weaned himself off. It was actually because I decided that I just didn't want to do it anymore. Obviously, with baby girl due. Yeah. Um, in a few months oh yuck hands really hates things on his hands guys like really really cannot stand it if there's anything on his hands he will come up over to me like yuck and ask me to take it take it off of his hands which is a trait that i do think he has got from his dad because his dad is very like that but anyway so i decided like one day that i was just kind of over it and i i'd finished with it so I basically just cut the nap one and then I cut the nighttime one and now it's just completely done. We haven't replaced it with anything. If I try and give him a bottle, he literally throws it in my head. So I haven't replaced it with anything. I've just kind of gone cold turkey with the whole MILK. If I say it, he'll probably remember what it is. But he's doing really, really well. He doesn't really ask for it unless... Under. Under? Are you going to go under? Go on then. Are you going to go under? Oh, yeah. That's it. Wow, clever Dark. boy. Dark. Dark under there, isn't it? <laughs> Toddlers are so funny. So, yeah, we've kind of just gone cold turkey on that. And he's been fine with it. He doesn't really ask for it unless he is really, really tired. Or, like, he comes back from his dad's and the first thing that he'll ask me for is milk. And yeah. that's literally just because yeah. he sees me and still associates yeah. Am I okay with that? I know it's dark, baby. But it's light out here, isn't it? It's very dark under there. He's so cute. His speech is just so much better. I cannot... He literally comes on leaps and bounds with his development every single day. Right, I've just put Alfie down to sleep. It is such a miserable, miserable day. It is pouring rain out there, but... It's just such a shame when it's, like, going into March. Because March is, like, my favourite season because I think March is definitely one of my favourite months of the year, literally just because we know we're getting into like better weather, but then every year March is still just as crap as the months before. But I suppose it's still like on the upside, so it can't really go too downhill from here. I've just put Alfie to bed. He, was, he must have been absolutely knackered because he literally laid straight down laid next to me and within seconds he was asleep normally i get up and leave the room before he falls asleep but he didn't today he just went straight to sleep i spent the morning cleaning out my like fairy liquid cupboard because stuff had spilled everywhere and look how much stuff was in that cupboard like all the boxes all the stuff inside like that was all empty so it looks so much better now let me actually show you obviously you didn't see what it looked like before but this is it now so got this big empty space down here which is nice but it was an absolute state before and it was one of those things that i was desperate to do 
and then i also did this cupboard as well because this was really bad i mean it doesn't look amazing now but it was so bad this nutritional yeast over here had like poured all over the bottom and i just left it for so long because i really just couldn't be bothered um but yeah i was gonna make a coffee now but i think i'm actually gonna make a green tea instead because I obviously with pregnancy you have to be really careful with your caffeine limits so I don't really like track the amount of caffeine that I have but I try and limit it as much as possible so I will always have a cup of tea with soy milk every single morning without fail I have to have that so I don't know how much caffeine that is I think it's I don't even know so I always have one cup of tea in the morning and then I will either allow myself a coffee and then that will be it or I will have a can of drink, like a can of fizzy drink, and that will be it. And I can already feel that I, I'm going to want a pet snack later. So I'm going to save myself on the coffee and have a green tea instead. Which I don't actually mind, I do actually really like green tea, but I just always fall out of the habit of drinking it. Also, how cute is this mug? My mum actually bought this for me, for me from TK Maxx. It says Hello Spring on it, it's got a little cheek on it, and it's so sweet, and it just like reminds me to like get in the mood for spring like it just makes me so happy but yeah i mentioned to you guys earlier that i was feeling like really really overwhelmed recently and i think it's like this like i call her kiwi right so little kiwi over here let me just show you her she's actually like getting super big can you see and she's just so much more painful than alfie was even though i would have thought it would have been the other way around because my muscles with alfie would have been much tighter so she like aches my bump so much and i turned 18 weeks on saturday so i'm nowhere near like the third trimester or anything like that but i just feel like i am guys like i just feel like i'm already in my third trimester when i'm literally nowhere near it which is really annoying because i never felt like this with alfie i'm pretty sure i had like like growing pains and stuff but I also think as well where I was I always have honey in my green tea by the way because otherwise it just tastes like literal hot grass um where I was like with Alfie and I was working in Costa and I was constantly up and on the move and like moving about and stuff like that I feel like it helped to distract me but because obviously I work from home now as a content creator and primarily on TikTok I I'm not up and about as much so I notice it more so it might just be more to do with that I don't know but she's just so 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 heavy like I can feel her like right at the bottom of my bump here and her kicks or punches or whatever it is because she's still quite small she can kind of move around everywhere I can feel them really really low and then sometimes I can feel really high up so she's definitely sort of just like moving around everywhere but obviously with Alfie having a different dad to little kiwi over here he seems to have much shorter legs because Alfie's dad is much shorter than Charlie so Charlie is 6'4 and I have a feeling that she is going to be like 5'6 five, 5'7 five, maybe which is above average but it's not like really really tall but I think she's definitely going to be like way taller than me if Charlie's jeans are mixed in with mine but that could be the reason why like she might just be like much longer than Alfie ever was I don't know but honestly I have a feeling she's going to be really really big I don't know though because I don't have a midwife appointment until uh, 28 weeks now which I found was really bizarre like I didn't think that they would do that even if it was your second pregnancy but anyway although I do have my 20 week scan next week on the 13th of march which will be really nice to see her again but i feel like the the 20 week scan is always the scariest one it is absolutely terrifying because that is obviously when they identify if anything is wrong this tea is gonna be way too hot i'm just gonna pop this slide away oh, i'm not sure if any of you have noticed but there was this huge h&m box sat on my side because my mum decided to go a bit overboard this time it wasn't me buying all the clothes now most of this is for Alfie I'm gonna film an Instagram reel I think for it hold on I was just trying to figure out where to put you because I never ever use my tripod for my camera 
So you're currently ba balanced on a B&M candle. But yeah, anyway, my mum actually decided to go overboard because she is just as obsessed with buying clothes for my children. Well, my child and future child as I have. So I thought I'd show you because I haven't seen any of this yet. So I thought I'd show you what she's got and sort of react to it. But I'm going to film an Instagram reel as well. So all of the stuff in here, I'm pretty sure is for Alfie for the next season like spring and then I have seen this because she gave it to me yesterday but she popped into next and picked up a few little things for baby girl as well which is so so cute so I'll show you those first actually well firstly we have this little top from next for Alfie which is so so cute he will absolutely love that I think she gets nan guilt the same way that I would get mum guilt like I wouldn't be able to buy Alfie something and not buy baby girl and the other way around so <laughs> I feel like she did the same there then we have these gorgeous 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 sleep suits i cannot get over how beautiful these are so she got these in zero to three yeah up to three months and these were 20 pounds for three of them which is obviously pretty good but the quality of these guys i can't even tell you they are just so so beautiful so she got them in zero to three because kiwi is going to be born in august which i can imagine is probably going to be really really hot especially if it's the beginning of august when she is due so because of that i haven't bought her well i haven't really bought her anything i bought her one outfit when we found out she was a girl and that was it so because of that i obviously have said to my mum like we need to be conscious of what she's going to be wearing around that time so i'm kind of just going to think like really floaty dresses and rompers and vests to begin with so rightly so she's picked up some sleep suits for a couple of months down the line when it's maybe a little bit colder but it comes with this little bunny one here which i it's just so so gorgeous i mean sorry guys but girls clothes are just unreal and then this sleep suit as well which is absolutely beautiful i love the little mushrooms on it oh so so cute and then the last one is this one with just some little bunnies on it so i'm guessing these are like next spring summer sort of collection coming in but no harm in buying early and then she also bought her some little books as well one that says i love my mummy and one that says i love my daddy which are so so cute these were six pound fifty and oh i absolutely love them i can't wait to buy some more girls bits but anyway let's have a look and see what she's bought from h&m for alfie who is two years old by the way if you've never seen me before oh sort of falling out of the bags i'm sure she's looked at this already okay so first we have these this set of shorts this i'm pretty sure this is all in two to three years by the way so we have these striped ones here and these blue ones which look absolutely beautiful i don't think any of these have prices on by the way because i'm sure she ordered them all online so sorry about that oh this is gorgeous <gasps> I feel like that's going to be perfect for him for like in between seasons and that is so 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 soft that is beautiful i can't wait for him to wear that this looks like a kind of denim shirt maybe oh my goodness me he is going to look so bloody cool <laughs> oh and we've got like a denim hat as well so that's going to go with the shirt like imagine Oh, cool. another cat right i'm so so sorry my camera actually ran out of battery but i've just charged it up now so i'll carry that haul on in a bit alfie's still sleeping it is 12 41 i was supposed to have leftover curry for my lunch but honestly i just did not fancy it at all all i wanted was dippy eggs and soldiers and beans it's just not a good day for me guys you know it's not a good day when your dippy eggs explode in the air fryer. I didn't even know you could do dippy eggs in the air fryer until the other day when my mum told me. And they're so good in the air fryer, but I put them in for 10 degrees too hot and they exploded. So that's good. These beans are not hot enough. All right. Hopefully that should be better. I've just not been having a good day. Like, you know, when everything just goes wrong and you just want to sit and cry i had a little cry for literally no reason earlier one of those days i guess i think it's definitely hormonal and just like feeling really overwhelmed with being pregnant i'm just not having a good couple of days in general but anyway i've been obsessed with 
Olivia Spencer's March vlogs. Look how good that egg is though. Anyway, yeah, I've been obsessed with Olivia Spencer's March vlogs. So I'm gonna sit and watch her new one. I think I'm just going to take it easy because I'm tired of beating myself up. <laughs> right, this one has just woken up from his nap. Did you have a nice nap? Did you have a nice nap? Uh-oh. He's got his head in the washing up bowl. I'm just going to do him some beans on toast and just do something really simple. Are oh, you giving mummy a cuddle? I'm just going to do some really simple beans on toast because I just really can't be bothered to say. I know I've said it a million times, but I think I'm not even going to get out of my pyjamas today. I'm probably just going to leave him in his, even though they're filthy, hey? Because you've got food all down them. No. Yeah. But he didn't actually normally sleep for his... No, sorry. He didn't actually sleep for his normal two hours. So I'm probably going to have to put him to bed early tonight. Which I never really mind anyway. Huh? Do you want some beans on toast? Like also guys I'm just so 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 hungry like all the hungry. time I'm hungry mummy's so hungry because your sister makes her really hungry so I'm just like I've just eaten all that food so I had no, the dip the no. eggs with the toast some beans a dare really dunker and I'm still starving no. You can have one in a minute. I just feel like it's never ending. I'm always so, so hungry at the moment because it must be because Parks have never ate this much before. Apple juice. Apple juice. Apple juice. <laughs> As you can tell, he likes apple juice. Little does he know this isn't even apple juice. This is apple and mango by M&S. But what he don't know won't hurt him. I know, we're just waiting for it to cook, aren't we? Yes. Mm, your toast? Yes. yes. But yeah, I will carry on with that haul for you guys in a minute. But for now, I'm just so hungry. I don't know whether to have a hot dog or not. I feel like that's just so fat. Like, I need to just not, but I really want a hot dog. I think one of the things that's really stressing me out is the state of this place like everything is just everywhere and normally i would do that i would have done that like yesterday but i just <sighs> yesterday was just such a backwards day i just ended up doing loads of work instead and i think i really just need to like get this living room sorted out and once i get this living room sorted out i'll feel a bit better but anyway i'm gonna carry on with that little haul i can't remember where i got to actually um, but I'll see if I can remember. Move that next bag out the way because no and Alfie will probably spill all the beans over it, which is something we definitely don't want. And then at least if I get this haul done as well, I can then put all the clothes away, which will be another stress off of me. So I've seen everything now because I've ended up filming a reel, but all of it is so, so gorgeous. So I'll just quickly go through it all. So we got some of these tops with like tractors and diggers on. I know this isn't like everybody's cup of tea, for boys but i absolutely love stuff with tractors diggers dinosaurs i just think it's so nice i think there's a time and a place for it on a piece of clothing i feel like sometimes they can be a little bit no, in your don't. face sorry no, don't. dinosaurs right be careful with those hands be careful with it can you sit down while you're eating your beans please boy dinosaur pop yeah so i just got a load of these like comfy t-shirts which is so nice obviously my mum picked all of this but pretty much everything that she's picked i think absolutely everything she's picked i love so i've got this this one with um some cars and tractors and stuff on it as well and that's the thing he will absolutely love that so even if it isn't your cup of tea sometimes it's nice to just get things that your children will love and then just some plain t-shirts we've got these trousers here which I feel like he's going to grow into, but these look absolutely massive. I think they are only two to three. Yeah, they're only two to three, but they just look absolutely huge. But 
I'm sure they'll fit them at some point. We've got this track shirt. Again, absolutely gorgeous. Really nice and light for the summer. And this stripy top as well, which I feel like I could probably use now as well to go underneath things or if we're going to soft play or something because it's a little bit hotter. Then we've got these trousers. Again, absolutely. They just look so massive. But by the time summer comes, he will 100% fit into these. I don't think he'd fit into them right now as they do look a little bit long, but... These are so nice. I was like putting outfits together for the reel as well. And honestly, some of it together is beautiful. This is one of my favorites. I just think that is absolutely stunning. One of the sleeves has come undone, but you can have it long sleeved or short sleeved. So I guess that's a good, um, oh, bless you. I guess that's a good, um, what's it called? A good, what's the word? Accidental representation. I guess that's a good accidental representation of what it could be like. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. I think that's gorgeous either way. Dino they're at the dinosaur park, aren't they? We don't have one of those. <laughs> then yeah. we have these two green tops. I just think H&M is so nice for boys, like the neutrals. I just think they are so gorgeous. Then we have these jeans. I'm obsessed with these and I want them in my size. Look at them. Beautiful. They are like... Almost like mum jeans with a cuffed ankle. Kind of cargo -y. I just think they are lush. I think I've showed you guys this one already. I've definitely showed you the denim top and the shorts. I don't think I've showed you guys this one. But Alfie had the same, if not very, very similar, last year from H&M. And it's just this, like, greenish, really, really thin set. Beautiful for, like, when it's absolutely boiling hot. And then we've got a couple of cardigans. So we've got this blue one along with these blue cargoes, which I think will be a really, really nice set in, like, the springtime. This blue jumper. Same in beige. Bye. Beige. And the same in green. And then we also have this little beige hat that says mini adventurer, which I think is so, so cute. Then we have a couple of cargo style joggers, which are always nice because they're really, really comfortable, but they also look a little bit more put together than just normal joggers. So we've got those in dark blue and these ones in beige. Right, careful because you're spilling your drink everywhere. And then we have this. Mama, that, that, no. When he says nose, he means nummels, which is his dummy. But he says, you say nose, don't you? You've got some nice toast there. Yucky nose. Yucky nummels? What's wrong with it? Because you just put it in your mouth with beans all over you. I think I'm going to have to get him an early bath because he's actually covered in beans. Anyway, yeah, so... <laughs> cardigan again is absolutely beautiful and one last thing are these green cargoes as well which again gorgeous right are we gonna get you all cleaned up i have no idea how much my mum spent but honestly thank you so 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 much mum for all of these because they are yeah. absolutely beautiful i probably wouldn't have, have got all of this i probably would have seen it all and been like oh, i really like it or i would have sort of like spent it in like little bits as opposed to like a massive haul but i'm always super super um. grateful because she is just as obsessed with clothes as I am. Right, so if you can hear the bath on him in the background. I'm just running in the bath because I forgot that it's his little friend's birthday today. His dad's friend's daughter. She's either three or four today, I think. Uh -oh. no. <laughs> say please. Yes. Oh. Alfie, say please. Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> If you say please, you can have one. If you say please, you can have one. There you go. So, yeah, it's his dad's friend's daughter's birthday, so he might be going out tonight, I think. So I'm going to get him a bath, just because I know that he won't be able to have one by the time he gets back. We're just eating some fizzy watermelon sweets. These are my absolute favourite when I was early pregnant with Kiwi. But, yeah, my bathroom... It's a state. I've got hair dye all over this. I don't understand how I've done that. Clothes all over the floor. There's just stuff everywhere. And I'm just beyond stress at, at this point. But here we are. Right, guys, I'm not going to lie. I haven't really done much other than lay on the sofa and just do nothing. But 
I really fancy a Pepsi Max, so I'm going to have that now and treat myself to my last bit of caffeine. Caffeine? Caffeine. I need a little, I need a wee little boost. That was a horrendous Scottish accent. You want me to kick the ball? Wow. Come on then. Yay! Uh oh, what happened? Wow. Did the ball hit the marbles? Is there anything worse than when you're absolutely knackered and you just have no energy and your toddler just wants to just wants to play? Like, obviously I love playing with him, but when I'm knackered, I'm not even knackered for any reason. I'm just pregnant and I don't know, she's just absolutely killing me. Oh, there's some little boys playing in the park across Dunker. the road. Dunker. Dunker and my neighbour has just come downstairs to have a go at them. This is like free entertainment. Do you know what's really funny? Um, she's my neighbour, but she's actually called Karen. But she is the biggest embodiment of a Karen I have ever known in my life. But I love her. I think she's petty, but I love her. You found a dunker, did you? Can you come and say hello? Look at his lovely little outfit. I put him in the new cargoes and jumper. What are you trying to do? Take it. Hmm? You're not taking it. You're not taking it. No. Yeah, I put him in the new cargoes and jumper. He's upset because he wants to grab my camera. Just having a tantrum. Yeah, I put him in that new set and he looks absolutely gorgeous. It actually fits him really well. Like it's it's like it looks baggy, but it looks nice baggy like it's supposed to be like that. But yeah, since I spoke to you, I gave him a bath. I got him all sorted. He keeps getting like a rash on his legs every time he gets in the bath and he'll like sit down in the bath and then he'll get like a really bad rash on his thighs and he just like itches for ages. So I don't know because I haven't changed anything so I don't know what's changed that but I cleaned out the bath afterwards anyway and then I just cleaned the bathroom while he was in the bath because then I can keep an eye on him while he's in the bath while I'm cleaning. Spider, yeah, well done, baby. Right there. Well, yeah, well done. You've got your si You've got your sister's dummy in, don't you? Um, but yeah, honestly, haven't really done much. Clean the bathroom, put a wash load away, and then all I've done since then is just lay on the sofa, read out your book, go on my phone. But like Instagram and Facebook are both down, so I haven't been able to do that. I've just literally barely done anything like the living room is still a mess but i just i can't be bothered to do it because i know that it's that she like cleaning up a village while a tornado is going around and just like destroying everything at the same time as you clean in there's just no point in doing it so i'm probably gonna put him to bed early he's not going out tonight to see his friend anymore because his dad's busy with work which is fine because i'm gonna put alfie to bed early because he didn't really have a very long nap and then yeah me and charlie need a new series to watch i don't know what to watch we've literally just finished um is it feel close feel no don't know what is it feel close. fool me once i was getting two of them mixed up by harlan corbin but i've watched two of his seasons before like different series before you can go and get your tractor yeah i've watched two of his series before and i don't really love his writing but they're just like easy series to get into oh that might be my is that my yeah. goes off. <laughs> no it was for me i just couldn't be bothered to get up and he's left it outside but do you know what that's fine this tractor oh my god i can't i cannot no i can't deal with it what do we think of this who made it <laughs> oh you know what sometimes i love a meal made for me not all the time i'm quite um i like being in the kitchen sometimes days like today it's just needed most people will think i'm pretty sick in the head that i have ketchup with pesto pasta you like that alfie yes Good morning everyone! It is now the next day. I do apologise that I didn't finish the vlog off last night. My body had just truly oh my body had just truly had enough. I've just been to Starbucks and had the worst drink ever. They didn't put enough ice in my ice white mocha. So it literally just tasted like tasted like warm warm dishwater, but anyway, it's Wednesday today. I've just dropped Alfie. To his dad's when I say I've just 
over an hour ago. But I thought we could drive home together. I'm gonna just hop on the motorway and get back. I do really need to get petrol, but I honestly, I don't actually think I can be bothered. But let's go. So baby, come and get it right now, now, now. I'm gonna have to just like keep turning it down because I don't really wanna get copyrighted. But I did just go all the way into Audi. I say all the way, it's not really far, but like, I went further than I could and I should have because there isn't even an Audi local to me where I live. But I just went, oh, sorry. I just went all the way into Audi to get the vegetarian slash vegan plant-based salmon. I didn't have it and I'm really gutted. Okay, are you gonna let me in? Of course you're not. Cheers, love. Cheers, love. Yeah, they didn't have it and I was absolutely gutted because I used to go to Audi all the time and the reason I used to go to Audi all the time was because of their plant-based salmon. Now, if, you've, if you're pregnant or you've been pregnant, you will know that with salmon, you can't have it because there's a risk of tapeworm, which I think is just insane anyway, but it's not the point. So because of the risk of tapeworm, you can't have it. So obviously they do um, plant-based salmon. I can't even see. They do plant-based salmon in Audi. So I was like, oh, great. So I was going there a lot just to pick up that salmon. And then, and the last time that I saw it in there was so long ago. But yeah, absolutely got it. And I thought, oh, you know, if I go back, they might have it there this time again. Nope, completely gone. Audi, bring me your salmon back. I don't want tapeworm. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a huge lorry. Oh, what a banger. Right, I'm back at mine. You know what? Today would be perfect day to clean my car. Am I going to do it? Not a chance. My neighbour is just walking down the road, so I don't really want to vlog in front of him, so that'd be a little bit. A little bit awkward. I'm just gonna wait for him to go in because I really, I can't bother for the interaction, you know. My social battery is run out because I've been talking to a toddler all morning. So my battery is literally on its last leg. So I'm gonna go and charge you before I end this vlog. Good morrow. <laughs> I don't even know if that's an actual word or a phrase, sorry. But anyway, I'm just currently uploading a YouTube video, which would have already be, obviously been up by now. It's the, the, Second trimester one. Ooh. I have actually just done a little revamp of my YouTube channel. Let me see if I can get it up. Oh, okay, it looks really weird on the iPad. It looks really good on the laptop. I'm not gonna show you because it looks really weird on the iPad, but it looks really good on the laptop. So go, <laughs> go have a look on the laptop. Um, but yeah, I haven't really done much apart from I've just done some filming, some editing. I've just done some work for some brands. I know a lot of people ask me about like how I got into social media as a job and do you know what? I'm still navigating it myself. But if that is like, like a, an in-depth video that you would like me to film, then please let me know because I'm always happy and open to like new content ideas and obviously giving you guys what you like. But yeah, this has been so incredibly long. I use CapCut as my editing like software and it's so so good for short videos like instagram videos and tiktoks and stuff but honestly for long videos it's just so long this has been oh my goodness me i'm so sorry i truly am so sorry i'm not but i know it probably offends some people that i burnt that but anyway oh my god guys sorry sorry what was i saying yeah it's really good for like short videos instagram reels tiktok stuff like that and then as soon as you go to upload like a really long video it takes forever so i'm going to switch over to imovie and see how i get on with that because i this has been 24 hours almost and it's on 60.4 percent so don't really know what's going on with that but yeah anyway i thought i'd just hop on and end this video here i have no idea how long this is going to be I know that I've pretty much like rambled the whole day yesterday and I'm rambling 
currently as well so anyway thank you so so much for watching if you liked this video then please give it a like and a comment down below and please subscribe to my youtube channel if you like this kind of content because i i, I wouldn't say i have a schedule anymore but i do post fairly regularly on here now so if you want to keep up with my life then definitely hit that subscribe button i love you all so so much and i will see you in the next video bye